All right, looks like we have started the video. Let's go check out PokemonGoLive.com. I think they might have posted something more about Gen 3. Let's take a look. Old website from Forbes. Let's see. Watch the trailer. Oh my god. What is this? Is this what I think it is? What is this? It's a video. I gotta watch this. Ooh. More spooky Pokemon arrive. Sableye. Duskull. Dusclops. Nice. Shop it. Bidnet. Nice. Ooh, that looks cool. Nice. That was a pretty cool looking trailer. Alright, YouTube. So, this is Matt from Catch Mall Gaming. I tried to skip my intro. And I was going to add something spooky at the beginning. So we'll see. We'll see what's up. I haven't edited this yet. So yeah. But yeah. So you just saw the video. I already saw it earlier. Sorry I was going to wait. But I couldn't. So yeah. Let's read through this Pokemon Go article. So I'm really, really excited about this. And I think it's going to turn out really good. So let's read it. It says, Halloween treats coming to Pokemon Go. <clears throat> Ghastly, Drowsy, Cubone, and other spooky Pokemon are back again this Halloween, and this time, they're bringing some special friends. Sableye, Bennett, and a few other ghost-type Pokemon originally discovered in the Hoenn region will be making their first ever appearance in Pokemon Go. The rest of the Pokemon first seen in the Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire video games will gradually arrive starting as early as December. We hope trainers enjoy this special Halloween treat, Oh my god. The Halloween celebration will start on October 20th at 12 p.m. Pacific Time and run until November 2nd at 1 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time. October 20th is tomorrow. I'm so excited. And it ends, of course, the day before my birthday. Like, come on, really? That's not cool. Just run in an extra day. I really want this. But let's see. Let's keep reading. A special Pikachu will be out celebrating Halloween in an all-new costume, and you can, too. Dress up your avatar for the occasion by wearing Mimikyu's disguise hat. You'll also earn extra candy while you're out trick-or-treating with your buddy Pokemon. Candy rewards from catching, hatching, and transferring Pokemon will be doubled, and your buddy will find candy twice as fast during the Halloween celebration. Last but not least, you'll have the opportunity to stock up for your upcoming adventures with special boxes from the in-game shop featuring items such as raid passes and, of course, the super incubators. I gotta get some, because I really need it. Alright, I think this is the last, or second to last paragraph. While you're out looking for Sableye, Bennett, and other spooky Pokemon, use your Pokemon Go AR camera to capture festive photos and share them on social media using... Hashtag Pokemon Go Halloween. As always, make sure to remain alert and aware of your surroundings while playing Pokemon Go this season. The Pokemon Go team. And here's this cool little picture. Got it here. Let's examine it a little bit. I see a Crobat, which is cool. A Dusclops hiding back there. A Houndoom. A Sableye. Of course, Gengar right in the middle. I see a Duskull in the top right. A Mischievous kind of next to it. And on the bottom bottom right, we have a Pikachu with a hat. And my favorite from Gen 3 for the ghost type, Binette. So this is going to be really cool. Alright, i got to X this out. And yeah, so the release date, it's tomorrow. Like, I'm super excited for this. And I have to go into the game and show you some cool stuff. So basically, what I'm looking for for this Halloween event is I'm looking to find tons of these guys for you guys. I'm going to do a clip the day it's released at 3 o'clock where I live. I believe that's how it works. 12, yeah. It's going to be 3 o'clock where I live. So I'm going to be on my school bus. So I'm going to be on my school bus. And yeah. So if I don't post it right away at 3 o'clock, don't worry. It'll be up. I'm going to try and edit it. If not, I'm just going to throw it up. And it'll be my first Gen 3 Pokemon. Hopefully I'm the first to do it. I'm probably not going to. But I'll still be one of the earlier ones to do it. So I'm really excited for this. And the game isn't loading very quick. Let me exit out that article. Hopefully that'll load it. Maybe it's because I'm using my Wi-Fi. Let me do that. Let me exit that. 
and get my uh, 4G up working again. And I believe, well, I saw it yesterday. I was out playing Pokemon. I was recording raid footage, but it, it got corrupted. Just kind of a bummer. I was going to make an awesome raid video. But, yeah. So what happened was I was looking at my medals for raids, and two more popped up. And I honestly didn't know what they were. And my Gyarados came back nice. Oh, that's from my field trip. Someone must have went and knocked out all the Mystic Gems. Or almost. So, yeah. I prepped. I'm just going to go into my Bulbasaur. I have 56,000 Stardust. I'm totally ready. I'm real excited. I haven't started any eggs. I will. Don't worry. And I'm at my Marit. I'm doing pretty good. He has 34 candies. And I'm almost, I'm very close to level 34. Well, I'm approaching. And I went on a um, field trip today. And I posted up in all the Mystic Gyms that were there. And I got these awesome new medals. First of all, the Legendary Raid Badge. I'm so happy they released this thing. Because it's been in the code since like before GoFest. And they just never released it. So they released it yesterday with this medal. The Hoenn, the Hoenn Pokedex badge. Register five Pokemon first, discovering the Hoenn region to the Pokedex. Of course, I have zero because it hasn't released yet, but it will be up tomorrow. And then it says I have to register 40 and then 90. So this is going to be great. I'm really excited. I've only done 60 legendary raids, but I've caught about half of them. So I'm doing pretty good. I'm not really doing terrible. But there's always a way to improve. And let me show you all my legendaries. Just because. <laughs> I can't spell. Just kidding. I'm typing. So I look through all my legendaries. I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33. So I'm just over halfway. And I'm really happy with them all. And I've been killing it on Entei. I want to catch 10. So I have one more than Raikou. And then I want to catch 11 Suicunes. So that'd be really cool. There's a Mystic Gem down there. Can I post up? Yeah, I might hit that up later. After this video is all done. So, yeah. There's not really much I can really talk about now. I upgraded my storage for Gen 3. And I have to go do some evolutions right now. And I'll, like, take a screenshot, maybe, of all the things that I got. And I'll show you in Gen 3's video tomorrow. And I'm really hyped for that. Oh, my pineapple berries. That's what I forgot. Matt's tired. So, for pineapple berries, I've saved up 34 for this event, which is pretty good. And I got my 7-day streak today. Forgot to show you. I forgot. And it was a dragon scale. So I can get another Kingdra when I want. So that'll be cool. Be a cool little evolution for one of my future vlogs. So I'm really excited for Gen 3 releasing tomorrow. I know you've heard it like a thousand times, but I'm really excited. So yeah, if you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and always click that what? <laughs> always click that like button. Thank you. All right, I gotta go edit this video and I'm going to go prepare a little bit more for Gen Three. So I will see you tomorrow at my Gen Three video. So peace for now.